What's up guys, welcome to a new crypto update. Today, very detailed about what is happening in the crypto market, the fundamentals, the technical analysis, long time no see guys, has been pretty boring, but we have a lot of stuff cooking up and I wanna talk about it. So first of all, I wanna switch over here into my value channel where I currently have 1,060 people informing them about everything I do and I will read out a message that defines basically what I've been telling all the people. Crypto market update, that was Friday, so a couple of days ago. BTC finally broke through our key trend line as I mentioned before above bullish below bear shortly after we had a massive sell-off on the market. The sell-off came through Mt. Gox. Uh, Mt. Gox is basically an exchange that got frozen a couple of years ago. They released the funds now and people started to sell because they're up 100x, right? So what would you do if you have an 100x? So if you put money on a Bitcoin, uh, uh, yeah, I mean Bitcoin uh, exchange and then on exchange in general, and then after, I don't know, 10 years, you get your Bitcoin back and it's up 100%. Most of them sell, right? So that kind of flooded the market. Market went down. Private payrolls grew by 150,000, way below the estimated meanings, less people got jobs, which means less people got jobs is a negative for the economy. That's also why we're trying to, and we started to see the, the, uh, the, the Dixie basically, or the, the dollar index uh, surge go down. Jobless claims went up 1.84 M in a week in the highest level since 2021, which is also obviously not good for the dollar index, okay? So we have a, a, a weaker dollar index. So we'll talk about that in a second in our chart. Lots of bad economic data. This is good. This is what we uh, what the Fed wants to see. Usually this is incentivized rate cuts, okay? So it is bad economically, but it's good for us at the end of the day because the rates obviously are cut. Uh, we need to pay close attention to the next CPI report. Next CPI report is due on Friday, basically tomorrow. Um, which is going to be um, the 12th of Ju uh, July, right? So that's going to be very interesting. Now, what happens with the CPI report? What is the CPI report? So the CPI report is uh, some of the most key economical news. We need to pay close attention to the next CPI report. S&P continues to pump as expected after bad economic data. Dixie coming down, which is dollar index. Stocks and crypto go up, but crypto not going up. This leads me to believe that this entire BTC crash is heavily focused on around the Mt. Gox BTC token release. Around 9 billion in Bitcoin have been released to investors that are 100x in profit, obviously, uh, that fuds the market. Now, the cool thing and the wild thing is that uh, once this happens, and we're just going to switch over to Bitcoin very quickly because I want to show you. Once this happens, so it's already priced in, so this drop basically is already priced in. And um, we even if they start to sell now, no one really cares because people are starting to buy up again. But only this FUD created uh, basically a big correction in Bitcoin that we just saw, which basically, you know, came down for 25%. And I'm currently in a buy position. We'll talk about that in a second. But we went finally back into our buying uh, area, which I have talked about in the last five videos that we need to finally come down because all of this BS over here, so everything we are seeing over here, this whole... Uh, sideways, you know, dumping around uh, in between 73,000 and somewhere between 63,000, so $10,000 per Bitcoin range, right, up and down. This needs to come down, so we really have more volume to come up, and that finally happened, and we also see it here in the total market cap, that again, this sequence we have put in, in all the other crypto updates, I will link the last two crypto updates below, so you can check that what we're saying is true here, but we finally want to see this come down, which is kind of happening. We still have some to go. This is the total crypto market uh, capitalization, so the whole volume. We needed to come down to then come up again, and that's why we're starting these uh, bearish sequence. The orange one is activated, okay? Now, 9 billion, okay, so it's already priced in. We have seen that M uh, Mt. Gox have sorted, uh, started initiating test deposits. We can expect them to start uh, uh, unloading on the market in the coming days or weeks, right? So they haven't started yet to unload the, 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 the money, but the FUD and the hedge funds and everyone started to sell because we had negative outflow in the ETFs before this happened and everyone already knew. So kind of there was an insider, uh, insider information and they started to sell before. So it's already priced in. So I don't think even if it's going to be released, a lot is going to happen in the market. Whales have been selling huge amounts of BTC in anticipation of the Mt. Gox sell-off, right? So the whales are already selling. They already sold before all of this happened. Considering BTC has been going down for weeks while the S&P 500 has been going up, BTC is effectively lagging massively behind the S&P 500. And that's completely true because if we take a, a, a short look in the S&P 500, 
let me switch over here. Um, So if we take a look at the S&P 500, it's just like complete BS, right? So we are basically just going up and up and up and up and up and up and up, right? So basically while the S&P 500 is doing this, Bitcoin is basically doing this, right? The direct opposite, which is kind of massively lagging behind, which talks about good potential coming up for BTC, okay? So we'll go back here and after Mt. Gox release, it's likely we will see big sudden sell-off due to investors being in a huge profit. I would expect this to end very quickly. Investors and traders not like uncertainty in the Mt. Gox is the leading factor right now. Jobs was negative, positive for markets and rate cuts expectations. BTC has been lagging behind S&P 500 as long as four year cycle and bull run approaching, right? Bull run is kind of like what everyone's saying is like September, October, uh, uh, November, December this year, right? Combine, uh, uh, combine this with hedge funds so shorting USA and Germany selling BTC. Uh, uh, Germany got a hold of a lot of Bitcoin because of uh, one of the uh, illegal streaming websites that I actually used to watch movies on. Um, kind of sad, but uh, there was a lot of money uh, that got into their hands, illegal money, and they're selling it off right now. Uh, USA selling BTC, blah, blah. It will be paying, I will, uh, I will be paying close attention to the Mt. Gox wallets when they have unloaded 50 to 70%. I will be looking for DCA targets on long positions. So DCA is dollar cost averaging into the market. So after the markets 50 to 70%, I will let you know when these uh, uh, wallets uh, already sold about 50 to 70 percent of their holdings right then obviously we can go into the market again uh, standard uh, chartered have come out that uh, and stated that uh, they expect btc to hit all-time high by august right so they said by august it's gonna hit an all-time high generally lists a new btc e, uh, etp right kind of like an etf so far the btc is following the exact same trajectory as previous cycles if in the next three to five months we aren't pushing into a new highs then we can confirm that this time is different right so so far everything is fine if it lags behind another three to five months then we need to look what is happening um Trump talks about using BTC as a strategic asset for the um, elections. Most altcoins are down 80% or some uh, or even higher. Some stronger project like Ondo and Casper refuse to move and Ton also. So Ondo, Casper and Ton, we're going to talk about them. Very interesting. Nice opportunity approaching for DCAs and longs, right? So that's why we are DCAing. So dollar cost, aver dollar cost averaging buying in and selling. We had a buy over here, went into the stop loss right uh, bought some meme coins so i'm heavily going into meme coins right now and updating everyone on the channel what i'm buying what i'm doing but there's also just uh, something that i'm going to link below which is my ultimate meme coin trading tutorial that i did now that's a very interesting one that's everyone there's every time there's a u.s presidential election so this is the bitcoin us dollar chart uh, we have the u.s presidential election after that right 28 bars later okay so 28 bars later we had an increase of a lot right so bitcoin went from a couple of dollars nine dollars ten dollars to like 930 1000 and then we went from 580 to one to three thousand six hundred kind of then we went from 1400 sorry fourteen thousand to um what is it probably about 67,000 that was the last one we went to back to like 20,000 and currently we are standing at 60 50 60 70,000 right and if we go with another 28 bars for a year right so from now um in November when the elections happen from there on we go on here so one year to next November so November to November then with 28 bars we are going from a price from 900 sorry from 67 K, so uh, 67K, so six, uh, 67K to around $500,000 Bitcoin, right? And that always has been so far. So there are some very interesting uh, things that we can obviously not focus 100% on, but kind of like see the trajectory of where it is going, right? Let's get into the technicals because we just talked about the fundamentals. So S&P 500 is going up. We just talked about, we'll just do it one more time quickly. We just talked about the total market cap is coming down. I still see a little bit of downside. I still really want to see the market correct uh, uh, 20% because that's where the this uh, kind of sequence ends and we start a new sequence about, excuse me, about 17% on the total. We have the USDT market cap dominance, okay? 
So the USDT market cap dominance is going down. So that means more money is flowing right now back into cryptos from USDT out. So if this basically goes up, means people are putting money on the USDT in stable, so they're converting. If this goes down, it means they're putting it back into crypto. So we kind of came down a lot. So people were putting it into crypto, kind of were here uh, dumping and, and, and dimpling around basically in this uh, sideways thing, right? So there is a big move that is reflected over here. Uh, so everything is making sense. Everything is perfectly fine. We started to drop lower in Bitcoin, what we finally wanted to see, as I just said. We really want to see this red sequence finish. We had the black sequence finish that we have already since weeks and weeks and weeks in the last updates, which it finally came down to into our buying zone perfectly, perfectly uh, reacted here on the 50% correction level, as you can see over here, okay? So it came down 50%. I still kind of would love to see, which also makes sense with all the other market charts that we just looked into. I want to see it come down a little bit further to another 15% here to the 44K, which it may not happen. It can happen. I kind of think because we are in July now, we still have August to go. Normally, markets don't get better volume wise in September. So September, October, November, December are insanely strong years in general for business, but also for the markets. Now, obviously, July, August is very, very boring. Smart money, crypto, in general, saying someone that I follow on Twitter a lot, uh, also in the Gem Hunters Discord, and I consume a lot of knowledge from, he is saying, because he mainly checks the smart money wallets, what they are doing, he said all the smart money wallets are dormant. So no one, no one in the smart money game is touching anything right now. That's why we are seeing a surge of volume in altcoins, in major coins, in meme coins, basically every volume is flowing out compared to the last couple of months, right? So Bitcoin kind of is starting to react. That's why we started to buy. Now, today's Thursday. We really need to wait for Friday for the CPI news. That's going to really tell us if markets goes up or down. Uh, right now, um, uh, my position is break even. So if you're following the trade in the value channel, you are currently break even, right? That's very, very important considering that, you know, the market could continue to, you know, uh, uh, go lower now with some uh, CPI news that uh, uh, are going to come out tomorrow. Okay, so Bitcoin is looking good. There's two ways now, two scenarios. Number one is we're going to the 44K, which probably I kind of think is going to happen. Maybe we see a little bit of upside now. That's why we are taking a risk of a buy trade, right? Uh, but I really think with the missing volume with July and August now coming, the market is going to come down and really go up again. And as you can see, hedge funds sold, right? Everyone with the Mount Gox FUD, I really used you guys for exit liquidity. Now, the stupid things that I'm seeing is that people and YouTubers are saying, now I'm going to sell all my Bitcoin. Why do you sell all your Bitcoin after you basically just had a correction of 30%? How stupid, like insane, I see so much insane, stupid things. Now is the time to kind of DCA in again if you want to buy still, right? Yes, it may come down another 15%, but it may not. So right now is a good opportunity to buy, to try these buy, uh, uh, low risk buy entries, which we are doing, but also DCA and buying more Bitcoin, okay? Ethereum, uh, pretty much the same thing. My automation, my AI, uh, that we are using bought uh, kind of over here is a little bit of minus um, is holding it on a spot wallet so all easy besides that same thing here with ethereum we don't have a buying zone i still want to see ethereum come down another 20 percent so again here 20 percent bitcoin 50 percent total market cap 15 percent so there's kind of like this overlap of in going into these entry zones right besides that let's look at something that is interesting right there is some interesting things that i'm looking into right now especially the meme coin space but i want to talk about one thing that uh, we go now into, so we follow an order, first the main caps that we just talked about, then we talk about the, the altcoins and some interesting ones, not all of them. There's some interesting ones that I'm trying to get into. One of them is Casper, because Casper is already, I'm already in, but Casper seems to be very unfazed, right? Casper doesn't really give a shit about what is happening in the markets because we keep building these bullish sequences, right? We keep entering the market. I started to buy Casper here at 0.03, we are currently sitting at a 1.4x and it keeps doing very, very well, right? And there's a lot of potential in Casper. As you can see over here, we are kind of going sideways a little bit, but remember what happened in Bitcoin and everything, right? Uh, we had basically from the top until now, a correction of 25%, right? So in that sense, similar, right? But it's holding very, very well. It's still very high. And what I'm looking for in Casper, because I'm definitely gonna put a bigger portion into Casper because it's a very interesting uh, coin right now in general, but still has a lot of potential. We still have 40% 40, 40 go to go lower, right? Which 
would be the entry zone. So I'm kind of starting to DCA in, which means dollar cost averaging and buying into buying here, buying here, buying here, buying here, buying here. You know what I mean? So even if it goes up, then I have my bag. If not, it may come here. I have lower price. It may come here. It may come all the way down. So I'm DCAing, buying dollar cost averaging. How do you do it? You take, for example, 10K and then you divide it by one, two, three, four, five bags and then the five bags you always go in, into these different markets right so that's basically it um, if you want to be more on the secure side you for example take 100 percent you take 50 percent and you go in right now and the other 50 percent you divide by five so you have 10 10 10 10 and that's how you enter okay uh, makes just makes sense to protect yourself a little bit if you enter right now let's say market comes down 40 percent and you're gonna be effed up because you could have bought for 40% discount, right? So that's how I buy crypto. So I'm definitely buying more Casper, right? More Casper, more Casper. Definitely, definitely good ecosystem. Very, very good team. Uh, is doing very well. Still has a lot of potential to go. Insane, in, uh, insanely interesting. Now, another one that I'm looking into is Render. Render in general had an insane correction, but Render same, very, very strong team. Very, very interesting um, I started my first position over here. I'm currently minus 32%. So that is why we are buying, for example, right now. Okay. So that's why I would go in again. So that's what I mean by DCA because I entered over here and let's imagine I have put all my bag over here. Now I'm missing 30%, right? So I can rebuy here. Okay. And get it and get it and get it. So Render is something that I'm buying. And now we come to something that is very, very interesting, especially Luke Belmer is pushing Render, very, sorry, Ton very, very hard. And Ton also insanely unfazed, doesn't really give a shit about what is happening, is staying very stable, not moving. And that's something that you need to be looking out for. Now, Ton is currently creating a lot of insane incentives in the Ton network. Ton is still pretty new ecosystem, but doing very, very well. And we will divert into the meme coin space now where Ton is very interesting, right? Because the Ton meme coins are still very low cap. They have a lot of potential. But Luke Belmore is becoming an advisor in Ton, what I've heard. Uh, he's pushing Ton very, very hard. So far, when he has pushed anything, you know, it has been going insane. So that's going to be very, very interesting for us, okay? So I'm going to definitely look in, into buying Ton. I'm not yet in Ton, right? But I'm looking to, for example, again, DCAing in, buying now a little bit, buying here, buying here. That would be the entry zone, which is 4.4. We still have right now about 36% to go, which the incentives are going to run out one to two weeks from now. They are getting high APR right now, uh, APY uh, right now. Um, for their um, staking and these incentives are going to run out. So if they run out, then probably a lot of people are going to sell, which can move the market back into this buying zone. That's why if I have 100% of my dedicated money, I would put 20% in right now, right? Just so I have a bag because I don't want to miss a move on ton. And then I would put some money in here in the re-entry zone, okay? That is basically what is very, very interesting right now when it comes to all of these, um, you know, meme coins. And then we're uh, going to talk about the, uh, sorry about the altcoins. Now we're going to talk about some meme coins. Now, uh, deck screen obviously is something that we use, and I just recorded a, a very beautiful video and an ext extensive um, uh, version of an altcoin, uh, how to buy altcoins and how to not make mistakes and get F and lose money uh, video, which I will link below with a beautiful view. I'm sitting in Lake Como, just came from Lake Como and uh, recorded this for you guys, right? So check this out. That's really like the expense, uh, ex extensive guide in meme coins. And now I just want to give you some updates on what I would do in the meme coin space right now. What kind of coins are very interesting. Now, first of all, we have to talk about the Solana chain, obviously still the dominating one. These meme coins here on Solana, some that I see a lot of potential in that people are, are shilling, people are talking about, the big guys are talking about, and when the big guys go in, then you want to be in too, right? Now, again, no investment device, but that's what I'm doing. I'm currently sitting $40,000 deep in meme coins, right? So $40,000 of capital is currently allocated in meme coins. I share all of my meme coins, what I'm buying, what I'm doing here in this very value channel. As you can see here, all the ton uh, investments that I did, uh, all my trade ideas. We are currently running two stock trades in profit, which is Sony with 20%. We made 20% in the last couple of days with a stock, guys, right? Uh, um, that's, uh, you know, there's uh, some good shit going on in this channel. It's completely for free. You can join the link is below free value channel. I'm sending in all the, the trades uh, and the meme coins that I'm buying. Okay. Going back here to uh, deck scanner, what is interesting and what you want to have in your bag for the next couple of uh, uh, days, weeks, and months uh, on Solana, definitely Billy. Uh, Billy is currently at 127 million market cap. 
Billy is a, a meme coin. The, the dog cat narrative in general is very, very strong. Most people say Billy easily is going to go to a billion. So we still have about a 10 X to go. And in that sense, we are in a buying zone, right? As you can see over here, now we don't have the perfect Fibonacci entries because it's not set it up, but the 50% entry is here. So we are approaching again, a re-entry Billy. I bought here, okay, that's when I bought my first Billy back, which went up uh, for 87%, sold some of it, now waiting for a re-entry, gonna definitely back some more Billy, okay? So Billy is one of them. Then obviously something else we can look into on the Solana chain, would be Schwanpu. Just looking if I find it. Schwanpu, 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 Schwanpu. Daddy Tate also can be something that can be interesting because I mean Andrew Tate definitely is someone that I think he's capable enough of really pulling this off. So maybe have some exposure in that. There's an entry right now. Um, okay, I'm not finding him. Let's see if I find it. Schwanpu. There we go. Let me see. Yeah, 1.8. So this is okay. Wow, we have uh, we are going up here. Oh, nice. In the last 24 hours, we had 88%. Nice. Okay, that's sick because I'm I entered somewhere over here. Okay, so Schwampu is something that uh, Smart Money Crypto is pushing a lot. Insane guy in the crypto space. He is a part of the dev team. Uh, we have. Uh, only 1.8 million has a potential to go to 100 million, which would be 100x, right? So if you're looking for a 100x thing, um, that looks very, very interesting. We are currently below the 78% correction. So we have very, very, very low. And just, just check that out. Just to see it coming back to the all time is 1,128%. So that's already a 10x, just for it to come back to the all time high, okay? Very, very interesting. And if you're afraid of seeing uh, these flat prices over here, which makes a lot of people afraid. Every meme coin, every big meme coin, if you go into it, if it's Shiba, if it's Pepe, whatever, they are all look the same. If it's Brett, Brett is uh, right here. Uh, yeah, it's a different one, sorry. But um, Brett is the same, right? So the majors, it's the same. At one point, they all looked like that, right? And then that's where people come in again and really hold it long term. And that looks like something that is pretty, uh, gonna be pretty insane. Put a couple of hundred dollars. If you make a thousand X, a hundred X, you know what I mean? Interesting. Okay, so a 10x, sorry. So to the all-time high, it would be a 10x, and then to 100 million, obviously, it would be 100x, okay? If you put in $100, 100x is some money, you see? So that could be very interesting. That's currently what I'm looking into for Solana. I hold a lot of other ones in Solana, like PopCat and, and all of these ones, but these are the bigger ones, right? I'm telling you about the high potential ones that I'm getting into right now, 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 and I'm buying, right? Now, a second very interesting chain is base, the base chain that you can look into, not so educated on the base chain, besides, for example, Brett is like obviously one thing with 1.17 billion. So if you would buy at 1 million market cap, that's a 1000 X, right? A 1000 X of a coin if you have started to be in that in the beginning. Now, I just want to show you something that I've been talking about uh, just a couple of seconds ago with, if you are scared of if the price looks like that, and that's basically how it looks like over here. Market comes up, Shuampu comes back nearly to the entry, right? nearly to the entry. And you have this. So that's when people go in in the beginning, they sell, they're like, oh, I got my money. They make it four, five, 10 X, whatever. Then the big G's like us, we get in here if we see potential because that's when the team is cooking, right? That's a team, that's where the team is really showing if their coin at the end of the day has any potential, right? And let the team cook a little bit. It takes some time. And if we enter somewhere over here on shampoo, for example, you would have made 530% on Brett on this entry, which is basically insane, right? So that's a 5X on your investment if you would have started to buy in here. Uh, now that is obviously something that is wild, okay? So you have uh, these uh, examples in any meme coin, as you can see, you know, again, meme coin is degenerate. It's just like gambling, right? But if you know how to trade, if you know the entries, if you know the teams, if you know what the big guys are doing, then you are pretty safe. So I'm telling you all of this again, if you want to know how to buy, because I'm not telling you how to buy, if you want to know how to buy, there's a video below, okay? Let, let's get on something that I'm very excited about and I'm putting more money in. I just put $6,000 into that, which is the TON chain, right? We already talked about the coin TON, TON society. TON is getting very, very big. And we have NotCoin, which is a game, right? And I'm buying on TON right now, NotCoin. I'm buying a Redo Resistance Dog. I'm buying ton get, ton, ton cat and TON Season and TON Dog, okay? So TON Dog is basically TON Season. Where did we start? So... 
Something that I started to buy very early so far already and made some really good money is uh, Toncat. Toncat currently sits at 16 m okay? Now, Ton is a chain that is getting very, people are getting very interested into it. Now, imagine this goes to 100 m okay? Which the potential is clearly there, okay? It's we are still deciding who is going to be the big player on the Ton network, right? Who's going to be the leading coin. Right now, market cap wise, we have Gem, we have the not coin, right, which is the game, which has 1.62 billion. Like there's good utility behind, right, and uh, people are really using it, right. And you you see we have like, uh, 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 yeah, 100, uh, 1.62 billion market cap, right. We have uh, um, insane uh, numbers over here, um, so that is very strong. So that's the strongest on ton coin. Now all the other ones are pretty much really, really, really like behind. Resistance dog is the second biggest one meme on ton, which is 83 million, okay? Now let's say ton dog goes, a uh, resistance dog goes higher, then we still have ton dog and we still have the, as I just talked about, TCAT, right? TCAT is something a lot of people are talking right now in the space. Let's say this goes to 100 and that's a 5X on your money. So definitely wanna have some exposure there. So these are all the meme coins that I'm buying right now. Um, how to buy meme coins again just recorded the video about it link will be below uh, insane easy um, Fast explanation with the biggest learnings how to be careful not lose money So go check it out. That is currently what I focused on in the markets Outlook so far again July August pretty low September it's gonna pick up September November Especially September October November December is gonna be insane from there on we start a bull run Expecting a one-year bull run from November to November and that's basically it guys and you guys need to prepare um, I'm gonna have a certain plan the plan is gonna be make money meme coins now move it over to altcoins from altcoins to the majors from the majors into uh, NFTs, right? So that's most likely how it's gonna go We're gonna have memes pumping again and working right now already pumped right there's some money that you can make there's still some good percentages as you can see here Tom Punk okay is sitting at 34 million made us like uh, 40 percent right there's some some good things happening now again it's summertime this is a little bit boring so be careful um, but definitely want to have some exposure into these ones because they have a lot of potential then moving the profits over into some of the coins I just talked about Casper a uh, 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 ton a render and so on and then moving it into the majors and uh, yeah that's the game plan so 10x on meme coin uh, 4x on altcoins 5x um, and then another 4 or 5x on the majors and then we're good to go and then we push it into nfts and we do another couple of x's and that's the game plan so far for the bull run and really bagging in a couple of millions i'm not gonna go out of this bull run with 5 million uh, us dollars that's my goal at least so i'm gonna obviously always let you guys know what I'm doing. It's all on the value channel. Join for free. Also, if you're just interested in what I'm doing, this value channel is kind of like my second, it's like my trading record. It's like my record, right? It's just like, I put everything in here. It helps me a lot because I even myself, uh, I just put everything, dump everything into here, which is valuable for me, what I'm learning, giving you these updates, uh, telling you what to buy. As you can see here, we bought Toncat over here. Toncat went up uh, 258%. So if you would have followed this entry, you would have put I would have had a 2.5x in your money in a couple of days, right? Uh, Risk-free, taking the money out again. All my YouTube videos are here. Important, important uh, scams that you should not fall for. Many people are just getting scammed left, right, and center. Uh, Sony, right, as I said, Sony entry that we took. PayPal entry we took. Shampoo that I showed here. Uh, uh, then some good stuff of uh, the stuff that I'm listening to. Uh, then some of my own content here on, on the value channel and, and just in general. Uh, then also, as I just said about the memes, right? We have a ET, ET, ETH, we have the PP, uh, the, the Pepe narrative, we have the bread on base, on Solana, we have both, but we don't have on Binance Change and Ton. There's still no real narrative on these two, right? As you can see, here is one of my portfolios with my main meme coins, Dol Doland, Dog with that, Land Wolf, Ponky. Ponky has been printing me some good money over the last couple of weeks. Not insane, but some good results. $16,000 in with one of the portfolios and everything else, right? So go check it out. It's completely free. Link is below. You will need to sign up for the newsletter where you get even more value for free. So piss off and leave me alone and let's get it.